What had he done? You must have patience, madam. He had none. His flight was madness. When our actions do not, our fears do make us traitors. You know not whether it was his wisdom or his fear. Wisdom to leave his wife, to leave his babes, his mansion and his titles, in a place from whence himself does fly? He loves us not. He wants the natural touch for the poor rib. The most diminutive of birds will fight. Her young ones in her nest against the owl. All is the fear and nothing is the love. As little is the wisdom where the flight so runs against all reason. My dearest cuz, I pray you school yourself but for your husband. He is noble, wise, duteous, and best knows the fits of the season. I dare not speak much further, but cruel are the times when we are traitors. And do not know ourselves when we pull the rumor from what we fear, yet know not what we fear. But float upon a wild and violent sea, each way and move, I take my leave of you. Father he is, and yet he's fatherless? I am so much a fool. Should I stay longer? It would be my disgrace and your discomfort. I take my leave at once. Sirrah, your father is dead. And what will you do now? As How will you live? As birds do, mother. What? With worms and flies? With what I get, and so do they. Poor bird, thou'lt never fear the net nor line, the pitfall nor the gin. Why should I, mother? Poor birds, they are not set, for my father is not dead. Then you'll buy him and sell him again. Thou speak'st with all thy wit, and yet I faith with wit enough for thee. Was my father a traitor, mother? Aye, that he was. What is a traitor? One that swears and lies. And be all traitors that do so? Everyone that does so is a traitor and must all be hanged. Must they all be hanged that swear and lie? Everyone. S who must hang them? Why the honest men? Then the liars and swearers are fools, for there are liars and swearers to beat the honest men and hang them. Now God help thee, poor monkey. But how wilt thou do for a father? If he were dead, you would weep for him. If you would not, it were a good sign that I should quickly have a new father. Poor Prattler, how thou talkst. Bless you, fair dame. I am not to you known, though in a state of honor I am perfect. I doubt some danger approaches you nearly. If you take a homely man's advice, be not found hence with your little ones. To fright you thus, methinks I am too savage. To do worse to you were fell cruelty, which is too nigh your person. Heaven preserve you. I dare abide no longer. Mm-hmm. 